Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video number one for chapter two. In chapter two, we focus our attention on first order ordinary differential equations. To be specific, we consider the first order differential equation of the form dy over dt is f of t y. Here y is the unknown which is a function of t. A brief overview on the topics that we will cover. First, two different types of equations, linear and separable. And uh, these are the ones that we have specific algorithms to solve them. And then we discuss um, linear problem versus nonlinear problems. Next, we talk about applications of these equations through various modeling problems. And one of the um, special type of equations are called autonomous equations. And we will talk about that and uh, their particular application into population model. And then a really tiny bit on a numerical method, Euler's method, to solve first order ODE. Okay, let's get started with the first order linear equations. One important method for solving first order linear equation is called uh, the method of integrating factors, which we will present here. So here we have that the right hand side f of t and y is a linear function in y. That means we can write this f into the following form. Some function, not depending on y, multiplied by y, plus another function. So here we denote this function to be negative pt. is because later we'll move it to the other side of the equation, so we carry a positive sign. So it's a bit easier. Okay, so in fact, if we put this into the ODE, then we have y prime equals that. And then we move the p t y turn to the left, and we have an equation of this form: y prime plus a function of t times y equal, and function g of t. And we give this equation a label a, and this is we call the the standard form, which we will be using to derive the method of integrating factors. Okay, I would like to mention that the method is due to Leibniz. Now let's go through the derivation for the method. Here we repeat our standard form of the linear ODE. Now we multiply this equation a here on both sides, a function mu of t then we will get, every term will be multiplied by mu, so we get mu y prime plus mu times p times y equal mu times g. Now this function mu here is carefully chosen. So we will choose the function mu in such a way that the equation is integrable. What does it mean it's integrable? It means um, the left-hand side of my equation here is actually the derivative of something. Now, in particular, we can choose a suitable mu to satisfy the following. That is, the left-hand side, which is um, this expression here, we want it to be equal to the derivative of the product of mu times y. So um, basically we, um, we require this 
This is our requirement for this equality to hold. Let's do some derivation. So we keep the left hand side and we um, open up the derivative of the product by the product rule. This will give us mu times y prime plus mu prime times y. And now we can um, compare term by term in this equation and we see that this term and this term they cancel because they equal to each other. Now we have this equal that. Assuming y is not identically zero, then we have this term equal mu prime, which we wrote down here. Mu prime, which is d mu over dt, equal mu t times pt. We now do a further um, manipulation, that is, we move the mu term to the left, so we get 1 over mu, and we move dt to the right, and then we have pt times dt. So this is to make that the left-hand side depends only on mu, and the right-hand side depends on p. This actually is a method later on we'll be focusing on called separation of variables. Okay, now take this equation here and we integrating both sides. Okay, integrating the left side, 1 mu d mu. Sorry, there's an extra d mu which shouldn't be there. And then integrating 1 over mu, what you get is ln of mu. And then this equal to the integral of pt dt. So here I wrote in again, mu actually is a function of t. Now using the relation we found here, and we take exponential function on both sides. Here the natural log and exponential is the inverse of each other. So we just get mu t, and then the right hand side we have exponential of the integral of pt dt. So pt is a function that's given in the differential equation. Therefore, this right-hand side can be computed explicitly, and we get this function mu. And due to the fact that multiplying mu on the left-hand side equation make it integrable, this mu is called the integrating factor for this linear equation. Now, here I want to point out one thing. Um, this mu integrating factor is not unique. Maybe you have noticed we have this indefinite integral sign here. What we needed here to make mu an integrating factor is just some antiderivative of the function p. It's an indefinite integral and it contains an arbitrary integration constant. So you can add a c to it, which will make it also an integrating factor. But any c would work. Okay, so um, the trick here is to just uh, choose a c to make this expression simple and more convenient. We now put the mu back into the equation. So we know the left-hand side of the equation is mu times y prime, thanks to our choice of mu, and the right-hand side is mu g, both functions of t. Now since the left-hand side is an integral, we can integrate both sides, and then we'll have mu t times y, the antiderivative of this function, equal the integral of this function on the right hand side and again this is an indefinite integral and I add plus c here because that's an arbitrary constant which will appear in your solution. Now finally we can divide both sides of this by mu of t and then we get an expression for y which is our solution. 
So this is an important formula. So we now have yt is 1 over mu times in the bracket this whole thing here the integral of mu times g plus a constant and mu is the integrating factor which we computed earlier equals to the exponential of integral of p where there is a constant but you can pick any convenient one for your purpose okay let's do a quick summary so we want to solve this first order linear equation step one we find the integrating factor mu of t by this formula and uh, that's an indefinite integral would contain some constant you can choose it to be zero or anything that's convenient then we can form the solution yt which is 1 over mu times the integral of mu and g dt and plus an arbitrary constant to reach the solution in this form note that you basically need to carry out two integrals one is the integral of pt dt and the second one is the integral of mu t gt those are the two steps that um, takes most of the work and once you have them you just need to plug them into this formula okay so the solution contains an arbitrary constant like that I called the general solution they are the solution for the differential equation without any specific um, initial condition or boundary condition if initial condition shall be given for this problem then you can use it to find that constant c okay so that's it for the derivation of this uh, integrating factor formula we will take um, various examples in the preceding videos to see how to carry this algorithm out for uh, problems so make sure to review your calculus your integrations as you can see here these are the main computation one has to carry out okay so um hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time